Hey ladies, it's Kathy. Um, I'm here today to share with you my uh, recent uh, journal that I created for myself. Um, I wanted to have a journal that small enough to put in my purse and that I can take with me everywhere I go or just leave on the side. And um, this is the journal that I want to write down my thoughts of the day and I'm trying to write down every day a thought and what happened on the weekend and what happened on the day or you know throughout the year um, I started late I wanted to start in January but um, I just probably gonna start in April and I already uh, did some in my other junk journal but um, I had transfer all that over to this one and so that way I can just keep one for each month the um, the journal that I had done with Ken Company, the Smash Journal, I still working on it, but um, I just want to have something small that I can put in my purse, and I just want to share with you what um, I got so far, and I will do a update on each video on what I have put in my journal and what has happened throughout the day, throughout the year, throughout the month, so on. Um, what I did to the cover, I just kept it simple. You can see I don't want to put any embellishment on. As me and you know that in my in the past I did do a lot of flowers on my journal, but like I say, I want to put in my in my purse, so I didn't put any embellishment on the front or the back. As you can see, I just mosh pot it, and I just put this bling right here. Uh, at first I didn't want to put it but then I said it needs something on here so that's what I put just this little um, beads that I got at Michael's is from Recollection and I love the paper and the dress form like it is so I just left it like the paper and then I distressed on the side um, and I used Distress True from Tim Holt the vintage, um, vintage look and that's what I did and then here is my inside and you can see right here um, I put the date um, when I started and I started on the 1st of April 2010, uh, 2012 and I bonded it with my my clench and as you can see it's really thick already um, but like I say I'm not gonna put any more embellishment in here I'm just gonna basically just gonna draw and write pictures draw and put what I have for memory to keep as a memory so this is the first page I had a tag right here and I just bond it and put it in as a tag and I'm gonna write something on this tag and here's a music note the uh, paper collection I'm using is random I use uh, lost and found I use all kind of stuff um, I use some from the um, vintage tag um, paper pad and I also use the new paper pad I had is um, a Melody Rose um, Sofu so I just scram them all up in here and also I use some the uh, flea market um, and I also use some others random that I have. I have a lot of scrap so I just want to bind it all in here I put a ribbon and then the bling and I'm thinking I'm going to put a picture of myself here. And then here I have a stamp up that I got from Michaels with the dollar bin. And here I have a photo, Polaroid photo. And I'm going to put a picture of my, um, of, you know, who, whatever happens. I'm going to put a picture there. And I'm just going to write journal on the spot. And here's I have another tag, say, secret. Um can't even read that it says something right there and then I just write the information there I'm so silly <laughs> and then here I cut out the paper collection and then I put I use my beautiful stamp that I have I'm so in love with this stamp and I put them in every project I have and then like you, as you can see I already start journaling already um, on April 1st um, my husband he tried to play April Fool on me and what happened was he used to sink Frank and he um, what he did was he t 
tape the the um, the holes so I can when when I go wash dishes and he make a totally mess in the kitchen for me to um, go in to uh, you know to use the the sink and what happened was when I got home I saw it and it turned out that he got the 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 he, he laid his joke on himself and not me so he just messed with the wrong person I told him. And then um, this is what I basically wrote, wrote and what I just told you guys. So this happened on the 1st of April. So it's really funny. So I, here I have a tag that I put and I say something to think back and laugh. And then here I have a postcard. And I distressed it with Tim Holtz tools. And then I have a stamp that I got from Michaels. And then um, on this page I use the die cut and I just put cherish and this is uh, I wrote basically on the 8th I went to my brother house and we had a little cookout and we had Easter hunt for the kids and it was my the kids first Easter hunt so I wrote basically and just put it in there and then here's some more design paper um, and then some tag and here I'm gonna leave something you know something cute later on down the road I want to put in and then here's a um, a journaling spot that I it happens on the 14th and it was my daughter Lana she turned 10 months and I basically wrote that we had a cookout grill we had crawfish that day it was last Saturday and it, I had a blast um, I don't eat crawfish but um, I love like the corn and the sauces and the potato all mixed together with the crawfish. So we had a blast last Saturday and with his friend and my family. So I just did a little journaling spot for it and then I used the, the tissue tape from Kane Company. Here's some more journaling design paper. And here's another dress form right here, the dictionary look and here's another dress form and then here's I put favorite things I'm gonna put my favorite things here and here's a prima flower I just hot glue it down and this is a note that I got from um, a swap recently from Lynn so thank you Lynn again for the swap I really had fun with the swap so I stick a little note in my little journal and it happens on the 11th of April so I kind of messed up. Um, I wanted to put this on before what happened on the 14th, but I didn't think of the date, so it turned out to be okay. And then I put, I used these uh, tape that I have um, stickers from Kane Company, and it said this was the day. And then I put the date, the good stuff. So I had really a great time doing a swap with her. Here's some more design paper, and here's another cute calendar that I can circle what happened on that day some more design paper here's another envelope vanilla envelope I can stick goodies in there love this apple towel it works great with these polka dot right here here's a stamp I got from Michael some more dictionary paper and here I have another sticker from Kane Company. It comes in a row, so you can tear out which one you want to use. And then write the date. Some more uh, design paper. Uh, dress form. And then here's another um, paper bag that I can put some goodies in there later. Some more journaling spot. And here's an envelope from one of the paper collection. And put something in there. A sticker, beautiful. Then I here I have a stamp. So basically, this book is for me. Um, I put all my favorite stuff and what kind of envelope I like. Here I'm gonna stick some goodies in here. And have another dress form. And here's another cute um, remember tag with um, a little paper bag. The three by three paper bag that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna stick some goodies in there. These are all my favorite. Here's another uh, vanilla envelope, and this is uh, the envelope that Arlene had given me in a swap long time ago, and I still have them, Arlene. 
and then I had I made this tag I cut out from the design and it said memory and I just distressed it and then I put it in here so I can put like a picture in there and then stick it in there so it won't ring up then here I have a die cut say look at you grow and here I, I did like a little background black cardstock and then here's the design paper and then I put a picture and then do some more journaling spots love these paper you guys these are my favorite here I put a bird from Kane Company some more um, Kane Company tape some more design paper here's a venom with this um, little girl stamp that I have and I punch it using the Marcia Stewart and then here's another cute um, tape say what where when and why and here's another tab so I did a lots and lots of goodie stuff in here this is another tape say this is what day it was some more design paper more die cut so I left it empty so I can do a lot of journaling each day I'm trying to do some journaling and not put pictures in here so much here's a Tim Holt clip and I have some beautiful tags um, if you hear some background noises that those are my kids playing here's a rub on of Jack and Jill and then here's some more design paper. Here's a Primo Power from Recollection. Some of these paper you recognize from the journal that my mom, that I made for my mom recently. So I basically used the same paper that I did for her journal and to do mine. And here's some more paper I can journal each day. With, here's a stamp, my favorite stamp dress form. If anybody know any more dress form stamps um, in any store um, please uh, comment me um, I'm still looking for some stamps dress foam stamp because I've been using the same one and I don't have new ones so I appreciate it if you let me know um, where you get them so I can go get for myself some more design paper some more design paper here's a, like a diagram more uh, venom with uh, design on it so I'm glad to put all these um, empty space for me to fill it in throughout the year hopefully I can get it done and it'd be great to look back what I have done in this book because sometimes when you work on a book and you don't ever finish it but um, you know you take your time each every day like five minutes just to sit down write down your thoughts that's why I left a lot of space so I can journal throughout the book and so these are great ways and here I can put a picture you know I just love these paper and I just smashed it all in without put them in order with color theme more pocket and here I just glue a little ribbon just for fun and then another Venom sheet. Here's the uh, flea market collection. Love that collection. I wish they didn't have them out of stock. I want to get some more of those. Here's this lime green. So these are similar to the one that I made to my mom. My mom already filled up her book already. And I can't wait to see it. Here's a library card. And then I have some more. Here's a mini envelope right here. I cut the paper in different sizes so I can, so it will look, you know, different. I don't like my book to be the same size throughout the book, you know. Here's another venom. Um, another dress form die cut. This is the the uh, four by um, four by four paper pad. Some more paper, some more. Love the blue and the bird. I just love these paper, you guys. I can't wait to fill them up and then show you guys on my next video. And that's my last page. And this is um, an, also from the paper collection right here. 
and on the back I didn't do anything much I just left it um, a blank with the design paper and this is the side of my book look like so uh, once again I hope you enjoy it and um, I hope to figure it out throughout the year and um, I will definitely do a video and keep y'all posted and let you see what I have done and what I have wrote in it so stay tuned and I will see you back on my next video. 